is September the 14th, Monday. I am two minutes late, but we are getting there this morning. A little tired. Let's see if anybody else is gonna wake up. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Cheryl. I'm a little bit in the dark. That's okay. Toinette, how are you? <laughs> oh, Mama Flo. How are you, Mama Flo? You all may not know Mama Flo, but Mama Flo is Mama Flo is one of my favorite people. She took care of me when uh, I was having my babies. Paulette, I hadn't seen you in a while. Glad you're back, or maybe I've just missed you on here. Your name. I'm a little tired today. The girls and I stayed up too late. After 12, oh, way too late. Hey, Julie. It's a school day, Monday. I'm gonna go ahead and start this morning to get our Monday going on this September the 14th. And my three little words for today are threads are sewn. Threads are sewn. And when I went to Anna's last week to visit, I was in her bedroom and I saw all her blankies on her bed and all my kids and all my grandkids have blankies and I even have a blankie. My mother made all of them out of nylon trico, which you may not even know what that is. She loved to make them. She would make them in all different colors and the trim would be different colors. Anna even has one with Disney princesses around the outside. I love looking and feeling of them and thinking back to so many years ago when my mother started the tradition of the blankie. Every thread she sewed with love and kindness. And when I hold on to the blankie, I feel close to her. There's a common thread that runs deep within families and the blankie is the common thread for us that still connects us to my mother, even though she's gone. I love to look back and see how God has woven all the threads of our lives together. It isn't until we venture to our eternal home that we can look back and see the whole completed blankie, but it is awesome when we can see the parts of the whole that are going to be sewn together. The Bible has a common thread that runs through it it is the thread that starts in the beginning and runs completely all the way out. If you've ever studied the whole Bible, you will know what I mean. While studying, there are so many aha moments that refer back or go forward. In the Old Testament, there are many prophecies that point to the New. And in the New Testament, the writers always refer back to the Old. That common thread just pops up within every book of the Bible. The scarlet thread weaves into every word in scripture. It begins in Genesis 3, 21, when God killed an innocent animal to clothe Adam and Eve, not just out of love, but how he covered sin with righteousness. The thread continues to weave through Adam, um, Abraham, Rahab, and on and on and on. The scarlet thread runs and continues to Jesus when an innocent man is killed to cover our sins. Without the shedding of blood, there is no covering, like it says in Hebrews 9, 22. So the thread begins in the garden, then to the cross, and completes in the eternal. Jesus is that thread. Another thread that should be woven in us is this, when we are created in the beginning, the start of our thread is to follow Christ. As our thread goes on, we are to do the Great Commission and make disciples of others. 
the thread continues upon the completion where we will join Christ in eternity. Just like in the Bible, our thread will weave in and out of good times, bad times, hardships, adversities, in the midst, sown amongst joys. Just like in the Bible, there will be times when God, when good versus evil, when God versus Satan. There will be times that we are divided, yet we will come to be together and be sewn into a perfect fabric of a cloth. The common thread throughout is to advance God's kingdom. To do this, we must live like Christ and impact those outside the church. When we are transformed to live like Christ, we are moved inwardly, not outwardly. We are moved by love, compassion, and justice. We are to love our neighbors and our enemies, being agents of reconciliation by sharing the good news with the lost and the broken. We are to teach of Jesus, his blood, and the sacrifices made. How God's redemption is woven throughout the Bible and the blood of Jesus that was shed for us. So every day as we follow our thread, the thread that is at times a struggle, at times our thread is frayed, at times it is dangling and we're just holding on for dear life, our thread continues to weave in and out. The power of the Spirit at times becomes entangled with Satan trying to cut our thread. But it is when we coat our thread with the Holy Spirit and live like Christ that we will complete the purpose of sowing our lives for Christ. So I ask you today, what does your thread look like? Is it worn? Is it beginning to unravel? Do you need to strengthen your thread? Start today by weaving your thread with Christ's thread. It is when we weave ours with his that even if it has started to fray, it will become sufficiently stronger and hold together to accomplish Christ's mission and purpose. So the challenges of the week are this. Keep your daily appointment with Christ. Dive deep into the word and look at your thread. What threads are you sewing? Are your threads worn? Do you need some repair work done to your threads? And always fill your cup with Christ because it is only when you fill your cup with Christ that you can fill other cups. If you'll pray with me this morning. Dear Father, we come to you with open hearts and open minds. We praise you wherever our thread is being woven in and out. The common thread throughout the Bible to follow you, that the blood you shed for us, we will always remember. And we know the Great Commission to go out and make disciples and to share you with others. Help us to do that every day and to bring those Bring those that just need you to you. Be with all of those that are brokenhearted, all of those that are dealing with a diagnosis that was not of your choosing, all of those that threads are frayed, all of those who feel like their thread is dangling and getting ready to break. Thank you for wrapping your arms around us and giving us peace. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. Today is a special day for us. It is Stringer's birthday. He would have been 38 today. So say a little prayer for Lauren as she ventures into another first without Stringer. Thank you for joining me this morning. And I'll see you next Monday on Coffee with Cupcake.